Hi student, this is Karthik Trivedi and you are watching a lecture series of engineering graphics and design with me. In last video, what we have seen? We have seen a definition of Archimedean spiral and in last video, we have solved one of the example of one revolution of Archimedean spiral. So what we have done uh, in last video, we have seen uh, one of the type of uh, example of Archimedean spiral where we have considered one convolution. Okay, so now in today's video, we are going to see an uh, example of two convolutions. So let us start today this video but before we start today's video let us quickly revise what we have done in last video so what we have done in last video we have defined what is exactly the Archimedean spiral is and then what we have done then we have taken one example of one convolution okay so just see the uh, your screen so you can quickly revise what we have done so I'm not explaining over here because I already explained you in the last video but just see the screen so you can quickly do the recap of what we have learned in last video so we have have done something like this and then we have given the point name and then we have given point p1 p2 up to p and uh, name and then we have drawn work curve and this curve is known as archimedean spiral so this is what we have done in last video okay so now let us start today's video and today's video we will see the example of two convolution okay so here the example on your screen a point p is 80 mm from point o it start moving towards O and reaches it in two revolution around it. Draw locus of point P. Now here say in bracket he has mentioned to draw a spiral of two convolution. So that we have already understood in the example. So let us first decode what he is trying to say. First sentence is point P is 80 mm from point O. So what we do in Archimedes spiral we take a revol revolution or we are revolving a one straight line. Okay. So what we will do we will give the name of this straight line as OP. So first we will require a distance of this straight line or we will require the dimension of this line OP. So for that dimension he will uh, write something like this. So see the first statement point P is 80 mm from point O. So let us say this is the line OP and the fixed point. This is the fixed point and we will call it this point O, this point P. So O to P. So what he says the point P is 80 mm away from point O. That means indirectly has given take the distance OP is equal to 80 mm. So first thing that we have is OP, distance OP which is equal to 80 mm. So we have this 80 mm straight line we have to revolve this line okay now what he says is start moving towards O and reaches in it in a two revolution so what he says that let's say here this is point P and this is O as this line is revolving we know that the point P start moving from here and uh, trying to reach to this point O so as this line is revolving like this like this this point is moving like this point is moving this point is moving as when it will reaches to this uh, fixed point O so he's uh, mentioned that it start moving towards O and reaches it in a two revolutions that means for point P which is starting his journey from here and want to reach to this point over here how much time it will take so for to reach over here it will take two revolution of this line so what he says you have to consider two revolution of this line so when you say I said when you say convolution that means you are talking about the revolution so here you have to take two revolution of this line that means you have to consider 720 degree rotation of this fixed straight line so indirectly he is trying to tell you that you have to take a two convolution okay so draw the locus of point P so that that means we have to draw Archimedean spiral okay so and bracket here mentioned to draw a spiral of two convolution but that is not required because uh, in example you have to understand through this it, it start moving towards O and reach it in a two revolution around it that means it takes two revolution that means this is an example of two convolution so in last video we have solved one example of one convolution so now let us see how to solve the example of two convolution so first what we have to do first we have to draw a one circle so how, how much uh, what is the radius of that circle so that radius of the circle equal to distance op so here point p is 80 mm from point o so distance op is equal to 80 mm so what you have to do you have to draw one circle of 80 mm radius so let us draw a one circle of 80 mm radius so here you can see that first we have drawn a one radius op over here so this is radius op which is having length 80 mm and we will draw a circle something like this okay so this is 80 mm radius circle 
Now what we have to do? We have to divide this circle into how much part? If there is a one revolution, we will divide into eight part. If there is a two revolution, that means you have to divide this circle into eight multiply by two. So you have to divide this circle into 16 parts. Now, but what we will do to divide into 65, what, what we will do? First, we will divide this circle into eight number of part like this. So let us divide this circle into eight number of part. Now the question comes in your answer. You are telling us that, that you have to divide this circle into 16 number of equal part. But you are here, you are taking just only eight division of this circle and how how you can do the 16 division of circle so we have to take this uh, this kind of uh, this kind of thing like uh, what i am here trying to say over here so what how you have to take this thing so first you have to give numbering in anti clockwise direction like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now what you have to do now you don't have to do further division what you have to do you have to just overlap the numbering so on place of 1 you have to write comma 9 on place of 2 you have to write comma 10 on place of three, third division you have to write comma 11 on place of four division you have to write 4 comma 10 5 comma 13 6 comma 14 7 comma 15 8 comma 16 so this is how this circle is divided into 16 number of equal parts exactly this circle is divided into the 8 number of equal part but what we are doing we are taking uh, because we have to consider two convolutions so we have to give numbering something like this so exactly this circle is divided into exactly 8 number of equal part but we, we are taking a two convolution so what we have to do we have to do, do overlapping of numbering so 1 comma 9 2 comma 10 3 comma 11 4 comma 12 5 5, 13, 6, 14, 7, 15, 8, 16. So in this way, this circle is divided into 16 number of equal parts. So this is how you have to understand. Okay, not you have to understand in terms of division that, that there will be a 16 division. No, it is not like that. You have to do 8 division of uh, circle and then you have to give a numbering by overlapping. Like first you have to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then again you have to write 1, 9, 2, 10, 3, 11 up to 8, 16. So this is how you have to divide this circle into 16 number of equal part and now you know that as you have divided this circle into a 16 number of equal part that means you have to divide the line op into 16 number of equal parts so here you can see on your screen there is 16 division which is on line op so this is a 16 division so let us give numbering so this is how you have to give numbering 1 2 3 4 5 up to 16 so 16 will be the point o it itself now why we have given numbering from here 1 2 3 4 and why we have not give numbering from here 1 2 3 why because here he had mentioned that they start moving towards o so point p is over here point o is over here so it start moving from here like this point p to o so like this so that's why we have to numbering from the right side 1 2 3 4 if we had said that the point is moving away from the point o so what will happen the point then point p will go like this something like this then you have to give numbering 1 2 3 like this so that's why here but here the point p is traveling towards point o so we have to give numbering from here 1 2 3 4 like this okay so this is the trick now what you have to do now you already know what you have to do take a distance as we have done in the last video what you have to do you have to take a distance equal to o to 1 and o as a distance o as a center take a distance on the line op take a divider Take a distance equal to O to 1 and O as a center, put an arc up to first division of circle, something like this. Same for what you have to do for next uh, next part. For next part, yes, you are right. What you have to do? You have to take, go to the line OP, take a divider, take a distance equal to O to 2 and O as a this center, put an arc up to second division of circle, like this. Now what is next? Take a distance equal to O to 3. O as a center, put an arc up to third division of circle. What is next step? Yes, you are right. Take a division, uh, take a distance equal to O to 4. And O as a center, put an arc up to fourth division of circle like this. Now take a distance equal to O to 5. And O as a center, put an arc up to fifth division of circle. Now take a distance equal to O to 6. And O as a center, put an arc up to sixth division of circle. Something like this. Now take a distance equal to O to 7. And O as a center, put an arc up to seven division of circle. Now take a distance equal to O to 8. And O as a center, put an arc up to eight division of circle. Okay, like this you have to do. Now what about the nine point? So now what you have to take, take you have to take a distance equal to O to 9 and 
O as the center, you have to put an arc up to 9 division of circle. So you have to do one complete revolution and then you have to reach 9th point. Like see the see on your screen, something like this. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to take complete revolution. Here you have just take only up to point. But what you have to do in exam, you have, you have to take complete revolution. So you have to start traveling from 0 to 12, 0 to 8 and then you have to move up to point 0.9. So here I have only taken this much portion only because ultimately you have to come on to the point 0.9. But what you have to do, you have to take complete revolution like something like this complete revolution then up to 0.9. Okay. Now what you have to do, now take a distance equal to O to 10 and O as a center put an arc up to 10 division of circle. But what you have to do, here I have taken only up to this. But what you have to do, you have to take complete revolution like this and then up to 0.10. Okay. So you have to do something like this. Now what for about, now take a distance equal to O to 11 and O as a center put an arc up to 11 division of circle. But what you have to do, you have to take complete revolution and then you have to read to the 11. So you have to for the rest of the thing, you have to do the similar way. So now you do about the 0.12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16. Okay, so 16 will be the point O itself. So now you know that what we have to do. So whenever intersect, we will give the point. So we know that the first point P is already will fix. Now give the point whenever intersect. So this is point P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, Okay, 14, 15 and 16 will be the point O itself. So now start joining all these points starting from point P to up to point P16. So point P16 is the point O itself. So now connect all this point by a smooth curve. And what you are getting over here is Archimedean spiral. So this is how you can draw a Archimedean spiral of two convolution. So I hope you will like this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.